G'day. Here I am, slumbering in my beautiful new abode. God knows. Will I have it for another day? Will I have it for a week? Will I have it for a year? I mean, I've had the cracker house for about eight months, and it's still not taken. <laughs> and this is one of the... These few... Oh, no, two places are among the first places I scouted eight months ago. And it's still here, so here I am. Full electricity, full hot water. Fucking love it. Anyway, the uh, point of this, I got a fucking SMS message. <laughs> In capital letters, against all the rest of the message, which, was, which had nothing to do with those capitalized letters. And the capitalized letters went like this. Who do you know? That's when you're... How do I put it? When you're in the know of the know. Oh, fuck. I really fuck my, my fucking headphones. Fuck. <laughs> when you're part of the... Uh, don't mind me. I'm just lying down. Having a cruisy day. Today's a cruisy day for me. One of those relaxed days. Anyway, if you're like me and you're part of the special circle, <laughs> and please, I don't carry on like that. I'm just an everyday bloke. I love every person. I'm no better than any next person. But you get my point. If you're part of that special circle, then you know straight away what that message means because it was from a number I've never seen before. And not many people have this number. I've got, I've got three mobile phone numbers. And I have access to that satellite phone. That satellite phone is something that not even uh, most of the archangels in heaven have. Only God could probably call it, other than my friend from Canberra. But you get my point. But I've got the three mobile phone numbers, and not many people have this phone number. So I've got the SMS, and it says, in capital letters, who do you know? And I don't doubt. <laughs> where, where that message comes from, or where that message came from. It's, uh, underneath it, it says there are job opportunities for a leasing officer, a special fucking real estate agent, even though I've clearly never applied for that, or at, at least in the last year. I may have applied for a sales position years ago, but the point is, I certainly haven't applied for a real estate position as long as, uh, for the time I've had this phone number, um, anyway, the point is I haven't fucking applied for that lately, even if I applied for something fucking three years ago, it, yeah, you get my point, nobody's going to call three years later, and I don't, I hardly apply for that, those types of roles anyway, I don't think I've ever applied for a real estate agent role, since I'm not a licensed real estate agent and know fuck all about real estate, well, I know a little bit about real estate, but as in real estate agent, uh, real estate professional. So, yeah, underneath it was that, you know, real estate agent looking for this, leasing opportunities, uh, leasing agent opportunities, all that bullshit. But at the top, who do you know? I'm surprised he didn't have a fucking, because that's, like I said, when you're in the know, in that circle, and you know how everyone speaks to each other, you just know that's what they mean. You know, who do you know? And we know what I'm talking about. I've made a lot of videos lately about Asia and who I know from there and who I'm, who I'm good with and who I know there are, who are fuckwits. And they don't send that sort of stuff unless they want me to suddenly make videos of who I know or... Are they fucking kidding me? <laughs> oh, fuck. That's desperate. That's desperate. So I feel like making another video of this. Because my friend from Canberra, and really, I'm cheeky like that. I have them focus on one person. I've probably got about 10 or 15 friends from there. So they watch this sort of stuff and laugh because they can't get traced. They can just watch whatever they like. Won't even show up in the fucking YouTube views. They just know how to extract... Uh, internet information like that and stream it accordingly. They're just high tech. So they're going to watch this shit and think, yeah, he's going to give us a fucking way. Yeah, right. It's been, what, fucking nearly 20 years? And I haven't even given a fucking letter of them. Oh, for fuck's sake. So it's there. It's on my mobile phone. But I guarantee you, 
it is an actual real estate agency looking for real estate agents and all that, or at least pretending to. So they've used the middleman. So if I suddenly say, oh, look, it's them, as they always do, hiding behind middle middle men, uh, hiding behind the middleman, they can just say, that wasn't us, that's a real estate agent. He's just, he probably arranged it. Oh, you fucking tits. That is fucking hilarious. That is outright hilarious. Who do I know? Like, and my point is, well, what I'm alluding to is, they have been art. Uh, they've been. It hasn't been uh, just today that they want to know who I know. They've been trying to know who I know at least as way back as 2015. At this degree, uh, they've. People have always been suspicious of who I know as far back as 2008 for some weird reason. Some very weird reason. I was still in my fucking teens back then, in 2008. So, <laughs> as, as far back as 2008, people wanted to know. And in 2009, I was still a teenager in 2009. Who do you know? Who do you know? What the fuck do you want to know who I know, you fucking tit? What am I, James Bond? Get the fuck off. But... It's, it's been really intense since 2015, or even 2014, right after that shooting incident, right after the ADL, because that really made everyone think, how the fuck does this cunt just get away from all these shootings? That was the first public shooting, as in you were aware of it, but I've been shot at before, I've been, well, I've been, I should say an attempted murder has happened before, I've been through a lot of shit, and I just always seem to come out the right end of it. And they just, AD have really done it for them. How the fuck does this cunt get all this intelligence? He has to get it from somewhere. He just doesn't pull it out of his ass. And since 2015, they've been going berserk. And they've been trying to extract that information as to who I know. So they want it all the time. So that, they've, and they've put that blowtorch on me since 2015. They've tried to get it out of me for eight years. And now it's culminated into what I interpret as them begging for it as if they're saying if I tell them who I know they'll stop or something like that matters to me I fucking yeah. if they're actually doing something that I'm supposed to be aware of fuck I wouldn't want them to stop I'd want them to do it for the rest of my life I'm fucking having fun are they fucking serious <laughs> I think my friends will fucking piss themselves laughing over that because they know how true that is they know I love this shit these cunts are on drugs. Who do I know? Like, as as if uh, they have some fucking greater authority than the people I'm fucking associated with. Who do I know? Oh, that's fucking gold. And, and they're put in check. They're, they're put in their place and they fucking hate it. They fucking hate it. Absolutely hate it. I love it. These big, bad intelligence officers that are apparently there for the better good of everybody else. <laughs> Or the fucktard faction of Asia and probably fucking criminals themselves getting fucking bitch slapped unprofessionally and professionally by a homeless man. <laughs> I think that hurts them the most. I think that's why they've come out into the open and SMS'd me through some other bloke, a middleman. They just love the middleman. They can't be traced that way. It, if it was to be investigated by a federal cop, for instance, it would just, it'll just be, oh, uh, yeah, I wanted a worker. Well, then why did you say, who do you know in capital letters? Is that's not how you fucking find employees, and he didn't consult you. Oh, I just wanted to um know who he knows in the market. Maybe he has a good reputation. That's They only have to make up something like that. That's how, but my point is, that's how Asia get away with using middlemen, just like they used the middlemen back in the ADL. They don't have to add, except for that paperwork that was confiscated, with that gone, they don't have to admit they're a part of anything. This is, there's no proof. They know, they're professionals at cutting ties. And that's why they. Oh, I see SMS messages like this, and fucking oath, I'm picking on it straight away. But, as I am, as I do, I will not share it. I'm not going to take a fucking photo of it and then say, oh, look, this is his number. I, I keep everything... I maintain a confidentiality. I always have and always will. Sometimes for legal purposes, but sometimes because it's just my, the way I roll. You either believe me or don't. If you don't, go fuck yourself. I don't care. Uh, there have been times where I've 
gone against that, but with a rare exception and for a very valid reason. As you know, I'm highly adaptive and highly uh, proportionate, so if I feel that maintaining that is disproportionate to the situation due to special circumstances, I may have an exception. But generally speaking, I never give away anything, even enemies. So, so I'm not even going to give away the name or fucking phone number of some bloke that just messaged me and, and show it to you, much less my my own people. <laughs> that just shows you, if you've ever heard, if you've ever heard the rumours, oh, he speaks shit about us, he gives names, he drops names, he does this. <laughs> I think my silence speaks for itself. <laughs> There's no one else on this earth that drops names less than I do. I mean, I fuck around, I joke, I play games, I, I, I do that stuff. I admit it, but not in a fraudulent manner, not in a, not in a lot, not in a, the manner of a liar. I will never ever uh, give away people's names, or information, or any of that sort of stuff. I'm as integral in that department as integrity can get so no you're not gonna fucking <laughs> you're not gonna fool anybody or you're not gonna fool me with trying to convince me i do that sort of stuff i'll fucking show you my backside very quickly um fuck that's desperation that is sheer desperation who do you know in capital letters that's fuck that made my day that's like them tapping out or fucking having a fucking fit who the fuck is among us it's like they don't trust any of each other. Well, then don't fuck around. That's simple. <laughs> that's that's the whole design. You don't like it? Don't fuck around. As this fucking lady once said to me, Don't fuck around! 